the fish that tastes the best when the winter wind starts to blow. It is Torumu, sailfin sandfish that is in season from November to December. In Korean, the names of fish either include the word all, which means fish, or chi, which means fish without scales. So why is Torumuk the only fish that doesn't have either word in its name? Let's listen to the story of how Joseon's king Seonjo came to name this fish. In 1592, when the Japanese invasion of Korea was at its peak, King Seonjo left his palace and fled from the war. They left in such a hurry that the servants were only able to serve poor quality food to the king. The servants were deeply ashamed. A fisherman who heard the sad news offered the fish that he caught to the king. King Seonjo found the fish delicious and summoned the fisherman to ask what the fish was called. When he learned that it was called muk, the king commented that the name was too plain for its delicious taste and gave it a new name, Uno, meaning silverfish. King Seonjo returned to the palace after the war was over. Despite the rich food he was served, there was a dish he missed very much. It was Uno, the fish that used to be called Mu. In response to the king's craving, Uno was served. But the king became confused and disappointed after tasting it. Call it Mu again. As time passed, this fish came to be called Torumu, which later became Torumu because it was easier to pronounce. These days, it is used in the phrase 말짱 도루무, meaning fruitless efforts. 도루무, the name that the king bestowed. Within the name of this small fish, there is an interesting historical anecdote. 